Now, welcome back to Matariki. Today, going on a Sika deer hunt in the journey to unlock one of the private lands. So let's get rolling here. Let's check the outside, see how it's looking. Looking a little overcast today. Wind fairly fast. Direction we got. Easterly wind today. Early morning. Well, not too early morning. Uh, coming up to 8 in the morning. That is when the Sika deer are resting. Oh, we already got some uh, fallow deer barking at us. So, what we have, we have the 7 mil odd 8 again. And a 12 gauge shotgun. What we're bringing. I marked two rest zones of this uh, Sika herd or solo. I don't know exactly what it is. Uh, here, we're going to check out the rest zones first. Now, bad wind there. It's going to the northeast right at them. So we're going to take the vehicle, probably drive just south of there, and uh, come up from the south. So, what we got here? Sunshine Jeep. Let's go get them. Perfect. So we have a good approach now. We're coming from the southeast. Uh, wind is going that way. Got confusing on the map because a little purple goo takes a while to update. <laughs> when you're driving the Jeep, it'll trail behind the Jeep. And it was all trailing this way. I'm like, what's going on? The wind's going the wrong way. But no, now it's all fixed. We're going to need our hunter sense on. We're just taking it easy these hunting days. 200 meters for the first spot. Air binoculars going here. Now, surprisingly, I haven't heard too many noises yet, except for those fallow deer. Normally everything's just singing. But it should be the rest time for the Sika deer. And it's good to remember that they are the easiest, I believe anyways, the easiest tier 5 animal out of the tier 5s to take down. Maybe the wolf's easier? Actually, let's check that out now. What's the hit energy on these guys? Like, it's really low for the Sika deer. They'll just fall right over. 1,400 minimum in a bit. What's a wolf? Oh, I guess I can't search by that. Uh, gray wolf. Okay, so gray wolf, less. So, herbivores. <laughs> but yeah, the gray wolf's pretty small. Um, Mountain goats? No, they're about the same. Or not too much higher anyways. And, of course... These are all higher here, right? Yeah, not too much lower, really. Anyways, they seem to fall over a lot easier. Let's keep on track. Kind of trail we got going here. Red deer. Who's barking at me? Fallow. Elk. Rabbit. European rabbit makes a bubble noise? 90 meters away? Huh. Stick snap. Wild boar. Here's all the noise is coming now. River can tell what animal breaks a stick when you're on the easier difficulties. Well, this looks like Sika deer. And that sounds like a Sika deer. They get pretty skittish, though, even on Hiker. Two star adult. I'm gonna see you okay, buddy. He's just a singing. So it says any two, it doesn't specify. Oh, and a feral pig over that direction. What else do we have here? A one-star adult. Well, this isn't really the best Pika herd to be hunting. I, I'm feeling maybe I shouldn't just shoot any of them just for completing the mission. Maybe I should find a proper one to shoot. So what do we got? Is that just... It's five. Three female. No? Was it two? Who's this over here? Isn't that a female? Yeah. And you're calling there. Well, he's standing right up. 
we can uh, we can risk it here. 100 meters or 80 meters could be nice and simple. Now that was uh, a wrong button push by me there. That was a low shot. Not too sure why I shot so low on that one. Normally they just fall right over, but not if you do a bad shot. Well, let's see what the blood is. Could have been easy. I blame my kitty cat my cats up here on the desk. In between me and the screen. That's what I'm going to blame. Oh, is it bright pink? Okay, it was still okay. Just didn't hit well. Probably didn't stay in the lung very long or anything. Alright. Well, we'll go pick him up. And that'll be... One out of two. Okay, yeah, he didn't go too far at all. He's right through here somewhere. Yeah. Well, I just kind of didn't inspect his antlers or anything. Just kind of hoping that... Not too high fit. Can't really see the other one. No, it's looking imbalanced a bit. He can't be too, too high. So, yeah, I needed a lot of cavity damage. Look how far back that was. Bad shot. Bad shot relying on the cavity damage. 58, yeah, that's fine. Tell him off. That mission's complete. So now we're just going to plot course to the next zone. There's actually another Sika group. That's over here by these feral pigs I spooked. Or at least they have a zone. So we'll go pick up that zone. I doubt they're here now. But, uh, we'll see if it's the Optin or, or uh, Rare Zone. Okay, it's their Rare Zone. So, these guys, they actually rest along the shore, almost of this uh, lake right here. This is where we are on the map. We're just by the, the cabin here. And they rest here and here. Uh, I think it's these guys? Yeah. So I'm going to go pick up their often rest zone and uh, see what they're looking like. We have another Seeker herd calling here straight ahead. What's the distance on that now? 190. Did I spook him? Maybe? No, that's fallow deer. It must be this guy. I don't actually have their rest zone. Uh, I was going to click over my other screen for a second. And see. Yeah. Yep, yeah, it's the uh, the other guys. That's okay, we can check these guys out first. And then swing down to that one. Since we've located them. Probably should crouch. That would be a wise idea. Now, the trouble here is it's pretty, pretty heavy veg vegetation. Might have to shoot, sh uh, shoot through some trees. I'm having trouble talking today. There's Seek. Uh, I'm grabbing that bubble there. Alright, let's get some elevation here. There is a nice hill between where that herd's supposed to be in this one. Let's go up here. Oh, I came upon them. See, I heard Seek a deer actually further out. And then I got confused. Because I thought I was much closer to these guys. But I heard even more Seek up here. So then I wasn't sure where they were. Anyways, I got really close to them and didn't even know they were there. Oh well, that happens. I was going to grab the zone. We're going to let them go though. That It's looking too rough to track them down. Uh, they they could have went towards the wind too. So we're going to grab the zone and uh, check back on the other one. Now I haven't heard a peep from these guys. I haven't figured that out yet if they call... Oh, here they are. Just as I was getting concerned. I was just always wondering. I haven't... Uh, I've never really figured out if they call less from a resting zone. I imagine a bunch of people say they do. They might feel like they do, but I don't think they do. Might like call less. But who, who knows, really. I think the call is probably separate timer or separate rolled than anything else independent of the zone but not really sure that one's a really hard one to measure and he seems to be singing quite a lot so since we're on the other side of a hill 
I should be able to get quite close. Given that the hills are blocking sound these days. Let's give it a pause yet, because there's definitely a chance I'm raising the alert meter. Alright, that's the zone. Supposed to be right here. Oh, yep. Yeah. I think it's a solo. One star mature, perfect. We're not even gonna mess around. We're gonna zero to 50. We're gonna swing around this tree. And we're gonna, we're gonna try heart. And we'll just take the heart shot. Make sure he's down. Oh, who's over there? Oh, it's a bench. Is this far away, the bench doesn't render. Just the legs, so it looks like there's like four things standing there. Alright. Well, one star material, let's pick you up. There it is. The hard shot, full penetration, right down the middle, only 50 meters away. I should be able to do that shot reliably these days. <laughs> After all the, the hours of practice. You would think so, but I miss that shot more often than I had it really... 35%, sell him off. Mission complete, sick and tired. Oh man, that mission is named after me. Alright, uh... I guess we'll just teleport back, see what else is up. I mean, these missions are kind of easier than other maps. Usually it's a, you know, shoot a bird in a brain while it's in flight over water. Alright, what else does he got for us? That only took 10 minutes or so. Oh, another novel. Oh, here's a different one. I'm not a big fan of this one. Harvest a young male red deer with fitness level 50% or higher. That goes against uh, all of our training. Shoot a high fit a young red deer. Hmm. All right. Well, uh, what do I have around here? We got this guy. And they drink at 9, so I'm pretty much there. I mean, we might as well check on this guy since we're right here. Let's do that. Looks like we're going to do it in a bit of a storm. So I'm not really going to uh, hang out in the storm too long. I will check on this one herd here. It's going to be loud. Does it, does it boom after lightning like in the real world? Oh, no, they didn't. Uh... Oh. Well, that's like six kilometers away. Not even close. All right, where was I going? Right here. That was not even very far. And the wind's kind of going at them. So this is not ideal. Wind's at them in the storm. Not even sure this guy's going to be here. But we're going to check it out. Well, if it's one thing the game got right, it, it got right the thunderstorms. It's always done well. Big flashing lightning through the trees. Now, the red deer wasn't at that zone up north, so there are other zones to the south here. So we'll do this check, and if it doesn't work, we'll fast forward time to get out of the storm. I haven't heard any noises or anything. We need a young high fit one, eh? Basically, I'm just shooting all the young ones. I'm not going to bother with the collar, probably. And we also are using the 7 mil odd 8, so we got to be careful with shot placement. The 7 mil in the game is probably one of the more balanced rifles in the game. Average accuracy, average power. You know, it's a good challenge either way. I'm not hearing anything from this guy. He definitely wasn't at the other drink, so... It's 9 a.m. drink, right? Oh, no, that's elk. 
What is going on with these red deer? There's some nice elk to hunt. So the red deer is not here either. Well, maybe he was in the other spot. Like, if it's a solo, you can definitely miss him. Well, I might as well check out these elk. I guess they're just over this hill. We got their often resting zone. I could just come back here again. At, uh, when do they rest? One o'clock? Yeah, I think. Alright, who do we have here? One star mature. I don't see any monsters. He's broadside. Less than 100 meters. Oh, nice. Oh, no, he just turned. Look at that one getting stuck. Well, we'll see what he does. I can't shoot when they're clipping in, and I can't see very well. Pretty heavy wind to the left. Mark him up here. Sneak it in. Now he took a step forward. That's not going to be good. No, he's gone. Well, I will check the blood just to be sure, but that was not a shot to take with the 7 mil. Especially when he stepped forward just when I pulled the trigger. Well, I will try and track him down just a little bit. I don't like leaving a wounded digital animal. But uh, I'm not sure how long it'll last in Thunderstorm. The, the thunder and stuff all kind of starts to irritate after a while. Which means, I suppose, it was done well. So, there they are there. I'm not sure it's them, because that was an awfully run, or far way to run. Oh, I think I found them. I'm not actually sure, because there's elk that called over here. And then there's elk right here. I think he's a solo, though. You're not the right one. A three-star just hanging out by himself. Right, you're by yourself, right? Yep. Oh, he's doing an inspection. The other elker should be over this way. Hmm. Might not be able to pick them up again. Yeah, they're supposed to be this way. I'll give it a few more minutes. Oh, well, looks like they're gone. They haven't been giving me a hint where they are. I know any other time, they'll just call and call and call. And the time I'm looking for them, they won't call. They're definitely, I'm definitely within range of them. Oh, well. Oh. Oh, no. Just seek a deer. Can they smell me? Yeah. There's one star mature to take out there. But I'm not really going to be able to catch up with them They're right downwind. So oh, this little stormy part of the hunt's just not uh, being very successful. They're probably going to go over the hill. Yeah, I don't really have the patience to hunt in the storm with the wind the way it is. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to... See, there's, there's red deer up there, but it's right downwind. I'm going to grab this zone, and then I'm going to... I'm going to brighten the day up. Well, that's much better. So I just went back to the same lake that often rest zone was and here they are so we just need a young guy and there is one are we going to be able to complete this in one attempt 100 meters out yeah they all look so big three star mature there look at this shot 100 meters. 
I don't have a strong enough rifle for this. Now he stood up. Oh, ugly shot. But you can hit the back part of the lung. Just take his head off, I suppose. Brain shot, sniper. Sniper shot. Wind only slightly to the left, 100 meters. No, I don't like that. I like that. There we go. So they should be taken off. Let's go grab him. Maybe he's above 50%. There he is. There's a shot penetration top of the brain. Almost 100 meters right on. Shot a bit too high, actually. Ah, 53%. Darn it. Oh. Check back. Didn't it's... Oh, wait, I got it backwards. Yay, it's above 50%, not below. Oh, good, so he, <laughs> he passed by three points. Okay. Second there, I thought it was below. Okay, yay, and it's not even that bad of a uh, damage since he's just right on the middle, so it's not like I took out a an actual high fit. Is this a thank you letter? There we go. All right, so we have the uh, Whitey Woodland unlocked. Let's go venture in there quickly. Uh, one of these is going to be a fast travel. See, I haven't even checked out the Mananui Hills at all, really. Still lots to uh, to explore. i got to unlock those. Well, actually, not too much to explore. Just down here. And then here. All right, because this isn't very big, really. So what's the quickest way? There isn't really a road coming from here. You gotta go around. Huh. Well, I suppose I can just do a little drive from the from the lodge up here. And turn down there. Maybe we'll do that. Go for a little bit of a Sunday cruise. Oh, here's some uh, birds of some type. I've got the... Uh, some of the anti-aircraft stuff with me. Well, and I got a five-star goose sitting around here somewhere. Let's see, is this the... Is this the pod? That has the five-star in it? Got a one-star, three-star. Okay, no, you guys are safe. There's more here. I find uh, this spot right outside the lodge. They're always flying over it. Yeah, because here comes some more, right here. Now, do they, uh, like, lower their altitude as they come down this hill? Are they coming down this hill? Sort of. Alright, you guys geese? No, you look like wild ducks. Yeah, alright, well, I need a five-star wild duck. One-star mature. One-star mature. No exciting wild duck today. Um... Anybody else? Like, we got our... Wall gauge. They seem to be flying down here. Alright. Let's see if there's a male right here. How'd I miss? Hey! What? There's a BB gun? That one didn't fall either. Okay. I can't say I'm a huge fan of this, uh... 
control gauge at the moment. Where, where do you fall? Oh, it's right here. Hold on, don't fly too far. I'll get the... I don't know what's going on with shotguns these days. I know they got nerfed, but... That's kind of... I mean, that's several... That's a lot of hits. 24 meters. Well, you know what we do. You guys don't go too far. Hold on. We can go to the one that actually works. For some reason, this, uh... Where is it? The 20, uh... Morning silence. The 20 gauge works really well. I figured the 12 would just slam them. Come back here, ducks. Now oh, they're gonna fall down in some trees and stuff. Here, excuse me. Oh, I put the shotgun away. No, no, get the shotgun out. All right, it doesn't matter who I hit here. See, that works much better. I don't know how many I got. I can actually see. There's one, two. This is the one I winged before. I'm only get the two. Just slammed him. I guess I only got the two. They don't make the shotguns like they used to. I'm not chasing them over that direction. Okay. Well, on to uh, wherever I was going. Oh, yeah, the road gal. Alright. Off we go. To the private land. Oh, I think I found the fast travel. All right, so we're in the zone. What do we have here? Interact with the map. Oh, look at all the question marks. I suppose I can just do a little journey. Uh, I don't even know what animals are here. But I imagine there's deer here. Almost like there's deer all over New Zealand here. Oh, what a good ambush spot this is. Oh, this looks great. Come to like a drink time. And you have them trapped in a valley below. What time is it? Oh, it's not even drink time. I might sleep to, uh, to a sleepy time here. And then walk this... Uh, Oh, sorry, sleep till a drink time and then walk right along here. And wow, they don't they don't stand a chance. Oh yeah, we've got red red deer and white tail alley right down in here. I went to uh red deer time. So I don't want to go to the time where they're where both of them are here. Because they'll just be flipping zones like crazy. Now there's red deer that sit right down there and drink. So we're going to do the camera trick. We're going to try and fly as far away as we can. In hopes that they render in. Hey, okay. Am I far enough away, maybe? Try this corner. There. Can we see anything? Let's see if we can see. Oh, yep. Yeah. They're there rendering in right there. Anything over here? Oh, see, there's other often red deer zones. All down this little creek, and they're the only ones that popped in. Still, that's a, a good size uh, herd right here. Look at this. Look at this guy. Holy smokes. Must be a two star. <laughs> Man, he's, his antlers probably weigh more than he does. 
Another big guy? Not as big, though. This guy's got to be... Like, he's looking, like, really grayish. All right. Wait, the wind's going. Oh, that's good. Let's just creep around here. Oh, look, we don't even have to go very far. We can just, like, spawn in. Poop out our tent. Or our, uh, not our tent. Tripod. Up we go. And we got a four-star mature. Who probably will not make five-star because he's looking really old. We got a three-star. And we got a two-star. I'm going to have to come back and check on this guy. I don't think I'm taking any of them. Nope. Well, maybe, uh, maybe the two-star. I don't need any 50 percenters hanging around here. So since he's kind of our only target, we'll go for him. It's only a 7 mil, though, so... Could be a little rough. 100 meters market. Well, a little higher than 100 meters. We're just gonna watch him for a moment. Contemplate the shot. Rear leg artery shot is a choice. That I'm not gonna do. I only want to make one shot because I don't actually want to flip their zone. Who's uh, making all that stick snapping? Oh. Well, hello. What range are these guys at? They're within, uh... Aren't they supposed to be drinking? I guess that counts as a drink zone. Oh, they're just three stars. Who are these guys? Can't tell what they are. How come you guys aren't down in the valley, in the trap, in the canyon? That's where you're supposed to be. Not fair up there. Where's this two star? Right here. Alright, we've only got the one shot. Because I don't want to flip their zone. Or I'd have to chase him around. Ideally, I shouldn't even be shooting this guy. Well. I think we're, we're just going to have to wait here. Have some hunter patience. Well, he doesn't seem to be giving me a shot here. He's just kind of... Always quartering heavily or straight on or... So it might be the classic brain shot. But he can't do any doing that. He's all over the place. And I don't trust the 7 mil for a neck shot. What do you think, dear? Right around there? How high up is that shot going? Well, it's going to the left more than I thought. It's pretty much right on, though. What's his distance now? He's fine. Hmm. I don't like the angle for that. Back here. Behind the sh behind the shoulder. I want him to turn a bit more. I don't. I'm not sure I can do the shot. Where's that big guy. Hmm. Well. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Yep, I got him. He gave the broadside. Yeah, hit it right on. Dodging that shoulder bone. When you're using a tier 5 rifle against these guys, you can't really hit that leg or shoulder. 
That will wreck the 7 mil odd 8 shot. Alright, so he's going to bed down there. We'll give him some time. And go pick him up. Uh, make everybody run away, did I? Nope. A three star hanging up out there. And, uh, yeah. That'll be it for now. We'll go get him, though. Here he is. And there they are. There's the big guy. I don't think he's getting five star. He's looking real gray. Be awesome if he was younger looking, though. What's all that noise? I don't have any bubbles. Wait. Is that them there or a different one? Oh, that's them, right? They went that way? I thought they changed direction. Never mind. Alright, how are you for fitness? Well, there's the shot. Oh, I, I really cleared that leg. <laughs> I wasn't... I definitely wasn't going to hit that shoulder leg bone there. That's how uh, that's how paranoid I was at hitting it, though. I didn't want to have to take a second shot. <laughs> yep, cleared that one, okay. Uh, but it did the job. 66. Eh, that's pretty much average for a private area, so... It won't, it won't have much of an impact. Maybe he's slightly above average. So, I don't know. I guess, like, the... The average, like the default average for the bell curve and all the areas. My guess is it's 55%. Um, excluding ranges 0 to 10% or 0 to 9% because most species don't have that down there. So the 55 is kind of in the middle between 10 and 100. And then uh, I think here it's like 65% like a private area. He's pretty much right on there. That's my guess, anyways. But, we don't know. We won't know unless we can see all the numbers. But, they'll keep that a mystery, and rightfully so. I think that'll be it for now. I'm going to stop rambling. It was a good little hunt. Open up the zone. This will be a fun one to hunt in the future. Maybe next time I'll spend some more time here scouting it out. And until then, see you next time. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting. Take care.